Well, boys, the 80s called. They want their series back. We are officially in the 1980s doing some farming. So this is everybody's favorite time, the 80s, besides any farmers that farm through it. But everybody else, it's their favorite time. Like awesome equipment, awesome music. It was a great time. So we are officially in the 80s. The 60s are gone, which means we're going to be switching out our equipment and we're going to be making big changes to this farm. We currently have a good amount of cash, $324,000, and we just purchased on a loan a John Deere 4755 which is our new big tractor and nate is currently putting the first hour on this tractor as we get it off there we go nate got a new f100 and i bought a new pickup i still have to sell my old pickup but i bought a k10 scottsdale red and tan got a really nice interior across it it's regular cab not like four door or anything got a gooseneck in it so if we need to pull the livestock trailer or anything we got a gooseneck and we got a bumper hitch we got john deere mud flaps now to set some rules on this series we are going to be upgrading the bins because 20 years of farming your farm has some upgrades we're probably going to be upgrading some machine sheds and we're definitely going to be getting a bigger newer shop over here so we're going to be replacing this and also we got to figure out what tractors to sell off and what more tractors to purchase we also have to upgrade our combine and planters for sure so me and nate have decided what tractors we're going to sell off we are going to sell off the big 5020s the minneapolis moline and then a lot of our like tillage equipment and planters because we need to upgrade these were two big tractors and we got some other tractors we can buy that we're looking at at a couple different dealerships for some big horse tractors for us so we're gonna be currently selling these off we got to get these loaded up on the trailer and uh get them shipped out of here and this is probably one of my favorite trailers i just love this like old school trailer here we're gonna be using this to haul it back over to the john deere dealership where they think they have a buyer for one of these tractors already you guys let me know what do you guys want to see different in the 80s what type of operation do you want to see us get into i personally like kind of going big um that's that's kind of how i like doing it but not too crazy so let me know your guys opinion down below okay we'll get the ramps unfolded i don't know if i can fit both 5020s on here maybe the 5020 and minneapolis moline and then nate can take the other 5020 we'll see these were super good tractors for us you guys know we did a lot of custom and hydrous and these babies made us some money but unfortunately we need some higher horsepower stuff now we'll get her a little it up on the trailer we'll put her in second gear and just let her crawl right up here okay i gotta be careful putting too much weight this is only a k10 and she's starting to squat pretty good this was buck's mod that he made too guys i love it okay perfect we got one on i don't know if i can fit the other on but we're gonna try i'm thinking the other 50 20 is gonna be too much weight so we'll probably grab the minneapolis moline and yeah nate's gonna take the other 50 20 hey grant i don't think that's gonna fit on there buddy Eh, she'll fit we'll squeeze her We'll see about that one. I don't think that's enough for him, buddy. Uh, it should fit. I'm going to try angling her to the side, Nate. We'll see. Come oh, well, on. the ramps that need to go up. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're close. Unless, uh, you're about to puncture one of your tires is what you're about to do. Okay, okay. Fold the ramps. Fold the ramps. Okay, there we go. We had a little room. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we'll train her down like that. Okay, on top of that, this is my favorite trailer because it has a hitch on the back. So when we're hauling to the dealer dealership, I can actually pull one of our tillage implements that we're planning on selling too. This is going to work perfect. Hey, Grant, do you want me to go ahead and load up one of the R's? as well yeah we got to sell both those combines too we'll probably in the fall buy them buy buy some new ones but yeah we get them sold all right i'm only gonna be able to load up one of them okay boys we got her loaded down now we are gonna be getting new wagons too and since this has a hitch on the back oh yeah baby this is like when i go to an auction i only got one truck to pull all my stuff home that i bought at the auction besides here we're going to sell everything so this is the tractor slash grain train and we're heading to the dealership okay one tractor we are looking at getting is potentially a big 4955 like i said we do custom and hydrous to have a big front wheel assist tractor would be awesome my neighbor happy actually purchased one i'm pretty sure i'm gonna give him a call and see how he likes it i got him on uh, i got him on the cb he's like two miles away i think working ground so he should be able to hear me yo happy hey what's going on i thought it was too wet to be out working ground man you got me scared i should probably be out working no nah, it's good we're, we're chugging along here just fine really okay well i think me Nate will start getting in the field then. Hey, how are you liking the uh, the 4955? 
Oh, it's a great tractor. I love this thing. We got the duals on the back, lots of uh, traction, so we're not getting stuck or anything. It's just a really nice tractor all around. What are you pulling for tillage with it? Yeah, we got a 25-foot uh, cultivator on the back here. It's running just fine. Okay, perfect. Well, me, Nate, and Buck are thinking about buying one. We may get one. We may have to come demo yours first, though. We'll see. Oh, yeah, for sure. Come down and check it out. Definitely, definitely. Sounds good. We'll see you. Keep at it, man. All right, see ya. Okay, we got the gooseneck slash grain train rolling down the road at 35 mile an hour. And things are smooth. They're not even... Even, they're not even wagging at all and here's the dealership if you see any new futuristic tractors just it, it's prototypes they're working on building that stuff just ignore it okay we got a swing wide to pull in this entrance it's kind of a small entrance for a dealership i figured they wouldn't have this small entrance but we should be good there we go <laughs> okay there we go we made it we'll get unloaded and get this stuff sold Okay, so I talked to the dealer. He said just to put the wagons outside. So for the wagons, we're getting about two grand a piece for those. So that will come out to eight grand. And then the dealer still has to appraise these tractors to figure out how much money we're going to get from these. But the Minneapolis Moline will get off here. And he just wants them over here kind of by these combines too. I'll just give Nate a little area to put his combine. Get the Minneapolis Moline off. And then we'll back the other 50-20 off. Okay, so we just got 78k in trade in value. We're up to $402,000. Now here's the dealerships a lot. And we do need a new planter. At some point we need a sprayer. It would be super nice to have a big four wheel drive tractor, but we can't afford that right now because we have a lot of expenses with buildings, grain bins that we're gonna have to do on the farm. So yeah, we gotta figure out what we wanna buy here. Now for planters, this is all they have at the dealership and we need to buy a planter today. So I think we're either gonna buy one or two of these Case International 955s. One of them will go on the 4755 and then the other, I don't know if the 4020 can handle it or maybe the Alice can pull it, we'll, we'll see. Or Nate, we could get this, this drill and plant beans with it, man. It's expensive. Yeah, we could. This sprayer, guys, is newer sprayer than the 80s, but it's like one of the only sprayers out there, so that's why we have this. Just don't make fun of me in the comments. For cattle feed, we could get that too, a chopper. Got a couple different combines. New Hull and TR-99, we could get a gleaner, or I think they even have up to an 8820, which would be a beast of a combine for us to buy, but we'll make that decision come fall. Now, they do have a 4455, which would be a good tractor for us. Nate's firing her up. How many hours are on it, Nate? Zero. Oh my God. <laughs> He's gonna put the first hour on the tractor. I ain't revving it up past the rev limit. They do have a 4955. This is a tractor that I think would be awesome to have on the farm. I don't know if we can afford it yet though. We'll see. And then they got a bunch of balers, trailers, a bunch of hay racks and stuff. And then on top of it, we also do need to buy some wagons. They have some DMIs, which would be good. Either need to buy some DMIs or some big parkers. I'm not sure which, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, to get us by this spring, we have all of our seed bread bed prepped pretty much. We don't need much tillage. Hear me out. We get a 12 row planter, 955, one of those. We go for it all, swing for the home run, get the soybean drill, the big soybean drill. But to pull this, our 4755 can't pull this thing. So we purchase the 4955 over there too. Are you sure that's going to be able to pull it? I think so. The, I talked to Dave. He thinks they'll pull it and they can tune it worst case. So 50K, 50K plus 10K. I mean, we're sitting at like $110,000 in equipment, new equipment. So we bought them. Okay, let's do it. It's sad to see, but we got the deal done with Dave, the deer salesman. Um, we are down 110 grand, but like I said, we bought a tractor and a drill and one planter. So this is a 15 speed power shift transmission. Check this out, guys. Right now I'm in eighth gear, ninth gear, 10th gear. This is awesome. 11th, 12th, 13th, and then your 14th and 15th is a road gear. Now I know what you guys are saying, Grant, that's way too much weight for that little truck, but yes, we're gonna pull the 4955 back on this truck trailer it should be fine we're in the country we're just gonna go super slow we have these trucks here we might as well load them up okay i do not want to put too much weight on the truck because this is a super heavy tractor actually so nate got the drill loaded up and i think he's gonna try fitting on the oh my gosh i don't know how he got that loaded up he's gonna try fitting on the planter also okay we also did pick up two dmi wagons they're five thousand dollars each brand new they have truck tires on them which is kind of unusual but guys are starting to say that truck tires are better than those flotation field tires that's what we're running right now some dmi big little grain wagons okay we are leaving the tahitan county farm store and we got a load behind us that's for sure and we are rolling we got nate behind us somehow some way he got both planters loaded up and I gotta keep her probably under 40 because this is a lot of weight for this K10. 
We made it here. It's just we got a steep hill to climb going up the driveway here. If this road gets muddy and stuff, usually I can't make it up the driveway with like a big load behind us, but we're making her. Come on, old girl. For now, we just put those wagons right there, got them disconnected, and I'm just going to get the tractor unloaded here. Nate's going to try and get the first planter off. It's a little sketchy right now, but we're going to use a 47 to try and yank this thing off. Come on, Nate. There you go. Oh, perfect. Smooth as butter. Smooth. And we still have the John Deere 4020, the Alice Chambers, and the Farmall 706. These are going to mainly be chore tractors, hay tractors for livestock. But I'm going to use the Alice D21 to try and get the drill off the trailer. See what we can do here. Hey, Grant, you want, you want to place a wager? Yeah, what's that? I have $50 says you don't even move it. Okay, well, the old Dallas D21s never doubted me. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, shift her into second gear. Burning rubber. Third gear. Let her eat. There we go. We're getting her slowly. We're getting her. Says the man with a wheel three, three <laughs> feet off the ground. You have no wheels on the ground. <laughs> 50 bucks is 50 bucks, man. Here we go, baby. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> As you, yep. <sighs> there we go, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Nate, what is that? You doubted the D21. Look at that, man. Pay up. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Okay, so we're not going to use the D21 to pull this. There's no way. But we're going to back her up and get seed in her. So I'll just get her backed up, get her aligned. And there's actually an issue with this seeder where you can't pull it down the road when it's like folded in. So you guys will most likely see us pulling it like this, even down the road. Because it, it just like, the tires are catching when you fold it in. It's weird. Nate's getting those opened up and we'll uh, we'll get some seed in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pull forward. And there we go. We are loading her. We're using all all the bags Nate has back there. All right, one last pallet. There we go. There you go. That should last for a good little bit. Let me put these flaps down. Okay, so we're getting the cedar detached. Nate's going to hook on the 4955 to that thing, and we should be good to go. For now, I'll just park the Alice right here. Come inside with me, guys, and I'll show you guys my fancy dancy paper map of all the fields we got to get planted. Okay, so if you look at my fancy dancy little map here, 94 is the home farm, and that needs planted. 96 needs planted. 102 and 101 need planted, and 100. And we have a neighbor across the road that's talking to us about selling this farm field 21 which ends up coming with a lot of fields that would be pretty darn big we'd have to buy it on loan though because they're asking 1.4 million it's a lot of acres there so we got to make a decision on that okay so we're thinking corn here and then if you go plant 101 102 with beans we should be good i'll get started on corn i might have to call up the neighbor guy to help me uh to help run the planter because i gotta start doing some shed work around here sounds good uh have you found anything about that new property we're wanting to buy not yet we it's gonna be tough on cash if we buy it but we'll see i think we should buy it honestly because it'd give us more money we're making this year hop in the truck me and nate are gonna go take a look at this new farm that we may potentially buy like i said it's gonna be a big purchase for us but it's right across the road it's literally right here some super good soils and there's three different fields here yeah pull in there they've already done the hard part of the slot they planted in soybeans yeah i know and that's plenty more acreage especially what they're predicting soybeans to cost this year and go up in price i mean so we got this field the field across the fence right here this field back here like there's a lot of acres here and it's right across from us and it's super good ground it's gonna be humongous but if we pay how much do they want for it 1.4 1.2 million it also has that field right there for it as well right here yeah this could be a good hay field too i'm thinking this would be easily by far our biggest field it's got a little waterway through here a waterway ain't nothing it's not like it's dipped down either yeah we could probably rip it out honestly yeah, exactly well let's i mean if we if we bought this field first thing we do rip that out turn this into almost a completely square field nose goes all right fine i'll get out yeah there's a term for that in farming it's an inappropriate term though for nate we'll just not say it love how you drive my truck and i'm still the <laughs> I'm still the gate person i think that's our neighbor happy farms he always carries around a camera and stuff definitely check him out on youtube if you guys know what that is on the internet if you guys have heard of that thing you just finish up planting yeah i just finished these fields over here uh do you need help planting later we do actually i might have our 4755 available i gotta run around and do run a lot of errands i'm gonna get it started but then i may call you if you're down to run it yeah, I'm down. Just let me know. Sounds good. We'll see you, man. Brody Farms on YouTube. Definitely check him out. And there's Tahitian County High School. You should have seen me back in the day. Back in 67, senior year, I broke the record for the most amount of strokes in a golf round. Well, we made the purchase. We just put a down payment of $200,000 on that farm. Interest rate's pretty high, but I think we can pay it off. 
So now if you look on the map, we own 21, 20, 19 in this small little like hay field over here. So here's Brody over here rolling on planting, but these are already planted, so we're good to go. We just gotta spray them over the summer. And there's Nate planting out there. I gotta tell him the news. Probably shouldn't cut across the field. We'll just drive along the edge. I gotta stop him. Looks like he's rolling pretty good. Oh yeah, he's rolling. There we go, we'll stop him. I got good news and I got bad news. What do you wanna hear first? Oh, give me the bad news. We just buried ourselves in a bunch of debt. Dude, you mean you buried yourself in debt. Give me the good news. Good news, just bought a farm. Oh, you bought the farm? It's okay. How long do we have to pay that debt off? 20 year note. 20 year note, all right. So we should be good. It, we should be able to handle the debt, I'm hoping. All right, how much do they expect in every year? If, if I remember correctly, it's somewhere around fifty-five dollars or $60,000 a year, and that's including interest, of course. Okay, we got seed in the planter, and we're ready to get started. At some point, I need to get some front weights for this tractor. Gotta get them on there, it just didn't come with any. Since we're on a 12 row planter, we probably don't need duels on the tractor. It'd be kinda nice for compaction, but we should be fine for now until we can find some duels for the 47. And we'll roll in here, and I'll get unfolding her. There we go, we'll get the planter turned on. I'll drop her down, and we'll see if we have everything set. I'm gonna unfold the marker too. Get the marker out, we'll start planting. There we go, we'll stop, get out, making sure everything's working good. Making sure we got seed at two inches, two and a quarter. Ah, I'm seeing two and a quarter, that's probably perfect. Two and a quarter should work good. There we go, okay, we got seed depth, spacing is good, we should be ready to go. We are planting the ditch a little bit. Do not look at the crooked lines back there. That was just a little screw up on my end. We're good now. Okay, we got most of the headlands done. I'm actually going to have Happy, our neighbor, who's looking for some more work, to take over the planter because we're going to redo the farmstead a little bit. When we redo the farmstead, we don't take out money out of our account because it's so expensive to transform land and stuff like that. But it's realistic to redo your farmstead every 20 years and add bigger buildings and bins and stuff like that. So I'm going to hop up to heaven. We're going to get building this thing. Okay guys, check this out. We redid the farm. Some things we left the same, some things we redid. So if you look over here, we got we had a couple different bins. These ended up working pretty good. Then we got a new cold storage shed around here. But if you take a look around here, this is where we're gonna be loading out on the back side of the bins. Got a little grass area to load out, grain with our augers and stuff, freeze up some room in the front. We switched out the open cold storage shed here, and this works just great. Uh fits all the equipment, perfect, kind of old school, like not too modern um, i gotta clean up the spot a little bit then we got a new cattle barn right here so this is gonna be good this will be kind of our small feed lot and nate said this is actually a really good mod and so it like spawns of manure in here where you got to clean it out with like a skid loader or a tractor or something like that so i'm excited to run cattle here maybe we can keep expanding too um then we got our silo we just moved the silo over got this old kind of driveway going in and out when we haul uh we haul silage and stuff through here we got the silage bunker which ends up be being our semi storage which works pretty good we got another manure bunker bunker over here which we don't have any manure in and then we got the open cold storage over here um and then we put this we got this like little cold storage shed that i'll call our old shed it's not perfect it's not good you got a little grass growing inside and stuff but really the only good usable door is this door otherwise you have to go all the way around here take this little dirt path all the way around here oh my gosh don't look at that and that's how you get in the other way it's really weird the way i set it up but it works and then this is our new shop 
and I love this thing. I like it. I really like it. Fits all of our equipment so we can keep it warm in the winter. That way it's a little easier to start and stuff. And then we got like all of our work area over here for the shop. Got this little door that swings open and walks up to the house. I really like it. Um, I always try and build our farms really cramped. That That's my goal is to kind of cram them in there. If you build them too open and stuff, it just feels weird. So I think maybe I'll put something else in that grass area out there to make it feel just a little more cramped in here. That's what I enjoy. So anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely check out Nate's channel and Brody Farms channel down below. I'll have the links to those. And here's to the 80s. It's going to be a good time. We'll see you guys.